Okay, so I'm a little late to the party on this one because this movie came out back in March and I'm just now seeing it. But hey, better late than never, I guess, because boss level is awesome. I don't really see a lot of streaming movies since I mostly just see what's in theaters. So the movie wasn't really even on my radar until I saw Cop Shop last weekend and saw that, hello, there's another Frank Grillo movie directed by Joe Carnahan that was also released this year. And it's a time loop movie where Grillo fights his way through villains and the same day to get to cigar smoking big boss Mel Gibson. Hell yeah, I'm watching that. What's great about this is that Carnahan and Grillo are so awesome that they have two movies out, both excellent, yet both wildly different from each other and great in their own ways. We've seen a lot of these time loop movies before, where someone dies a lot and has to repeat the same day again. But what I like about how this movie is structured is that when we're introduced to our lead, he's already in the loop, and has been for a long ass time, and has gotten pretty skilled at it. And it doesn't feel like it's setting the movie up too quick, because there's really good narration that immediately helps you get to know the character. At the beginning, he's able to just walk by bullets, and when someone in a helicopter is shooting at him, he's mainly worried about his landlord and his security deposit. It's almost made him go insane, like how he has to find little things to laugh about, even if it's a poor guy dropping dishes. Since he doesn't know who the bad guys are yet, he has little nicknames for them. The setup is familiar, but feels fresh. I was always invested in where it was going. There's never a dull moment. It gets to a point an hour in when Grillo kind of feels like he's at the end, but with there being 40 minutes of the movie left, I liked guessing what turns it was going to take, and it does take some pretty surprising and dire turns with the story and the stakes. The cast is having a blast in this film. Frank Grillo is the real freaking deal. He is funny, he is cool, he is tough, the dude can do action perfectly, he can do drama, he makes great movies even better. And if Grillo is in something, it makes me more interested in seeing it. In this movie, you get to see him fight a shitload of people, from sword fighting to mowing down people with a Gatling gun. You get to see Mel Gibson cut a man's head off and say, wow, this sword is really sharp and there's hardly any blood on it. But even through all the action, there's some really nice quiet moments too, like the plot where he's rebonding with his son, and they do so over playing Galaga and Street Fighter. Even if the movie is familiar territory, it didn't feel that way to me. It doesn't hold back in the kills. Some of them are quite graphic and surprising and even funny at times. I'm giving Boss Level an A-, minus, and you can see it over on Hulu. Of this genre of movie, it's the best one I've seen since Edge of Tomorrow. And check out our recent Cinema Snob episode on Cannibal the Musical, plus stay tuned for reviews for Dear Evan Hansen and The Eyes of Tammy Faye. See you next time. Oh.